we are installing a 5x5 five five closure wig and I want to show you guys today how easy it is to take a 5x5 five five closure wig and apply it. This wig is perfect for the everyday lifestyle from the curl pattern to the cap. Everything will be linked below in the description box. Be sure to subscribe if you are new here. If you are subscribed make sure to come back and join me for upcoming videos by turning on your notifications and also like the video. You can, like I just love this texture so much. The link will be below in the description box with new discount codes. When it comes to a beginner, I feel like the easiest wig to install is a 5x5 closure wig. Not only is this wig very easy to install, but it also gives you convenience. It gives you a feel of how to wear your lace wig and something you can just play with at the beginning. Now, even if you're not a beginner and you are looking for a wig that is convenient, the 5x5 closure wigs I feel like are really great for every day. It's great for people who don't want to glue their wigs or people who just want to glue it just a little bit and don't need long-term wear. This is the style we are working with today and not only is the cap convenient um, but it also is convenient as far as the hairstyling when it comes to the wave pattern it's very easy to deal with I'm gonna show you all how I wave up the hair and you know get rid of the frizz also so of course I start by applying my wig cap to take some scissors get rid of this band so this area won't show too much under the wig. It also gives my head a break from the pressure of the band. It releases it a little bit so it's more comfortable. Make sure that the wig cap, this area right here, at least matches your forehead so it can blend better. You don't want a line there. Sometimes it's not a big deal. For me, sometimes it is. But since today I want to show you how to effortlessly melt your 5x5 closure, I'm definitely going to blend this a little bit with my forehead. Just Now I am going to take my even this is the tinted lace and I'm not going to bleach the knots but I am going to tint them so that they can look more like scalp. And that was the light brown. I'm going in now with the medium warm beige over top. I am going to go ahead and just pop this on. It should be very simple. I have the adjustable strap in here that I'm actually going to use because this cap is the air cap so it does not have the one that's in the back. So if you're ready to go to work or you're ready to get out the door, how simple this is. Boom. Look how that melts. You can just lift it up. And with this wig, you can part it on the sides. It gives you a good enough space where you can do a side part if you want it to. Or you can leave it at a middle part. Now because the pennant lace is a bit dark, for my parting I like it to be like my scalp color. I'm going to go down it of lace conceal which is a bit lighter. Like almost a complexion of concealer. And with this wig you get a really deep parting. That looks so good already. So now we're just going to tame the curls and this is how the lace is blending. Look at that. No glue. Just set it down and go. Like so. Just a little bit. I don't like my hair to be too wet when I'm going out. Just enough to define the waves. And the link for this wig will be in the description box. I also have discount codes down there and every product that I use will also be linked in the description box or in my Amazon storefront link. I'm going to take the Argan Oil Cream of Nature Styling Shine and Foam Mousse and I am going to apply that to the hair. About that much to one side. That much there. Brush and you want to use this because it's going to clump the waves and just rake it down the hair like so. This is going to give definition and then just scrunch like that. Scrunch the waves back into the hair. This smells so good too. This smells amazing. Thank you. 
Next, if you wanted to, you can e either leave it here like this, or you can go ahead and create some edges. So you can just take a little bit of that hairline like so. And this is completely optional. I'm just showing you that with a five by five, you can have the same options as you can with a 13 by six when it comes to hairline styling and how convenient it is to work with it. Matter of fact, no, I can use a bit of hair mousse. Now this one doesn't have hold hold, but I'm just taking just to create the edges. That's it. That's all you it takes to wear a 5x5 five five closure wig. Again, this wig is from Ronnie Hair. It will be linked below in the description box. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and also be sure to join me back for my next video coming up by turning on your notifications so that you can get alerted when I do upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you back in the next video. If you have not followed me over on my other socials, please go over there now. I'm on Instagram at Miss Precious Marie and also on TikTok at Marie Space 23 if you like makeup. I love sharing videos with you guys, so definitely come back to see me for another video. Here are some videos that you may have missed. You can just click them in a second and you should be able to go through and watch. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you won't miss any upcoming videos. I really do love coming to you guys each week and I hope you love coming to me to watch and I'll see you back in my next video.